When you capture video in a smartphone, you won't be compromising in the quality. You will be capturing in Full HD or in 4K resolution. This will result in tremendous file size and you will find it difficult to share these files in social media networks. In this video, I am going to introduce an Android app using which you will be able to compress the videos that you capture in a smartphone without losing quality. So let's get started. Before exploring the topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Saptic TV to get videos on technological tips that can make your life simple and easy and hit the bell icon to get alerts whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. Open Play Store in your Android phone and search for Video Compressor app. Number of apps will be listed. Just tap on the third app from the top. You can see a green icon. It's called Video Compressor app. Just install that app. I have already installed it, so I'm going to update it. It's updated. Now I'll tap on Open to open it. There are two tabs on top, Compress Video and Compress Photo. Means using this app, photos can also be compressed. These are the various folders in your phone. I'll open the camera folder. The various videos captured using my camera with the file size is displayed here. Let's take for example this particular video. The file size of this video is 203 MB and the duration is 1 minute 19 seconds. Here you are given various options like compress video, cut and compress, fast forward, extract mp3, play video, share, delete etc. Each of these options you can try out on your own. I'll tap on fast forward. You can fast forward the video through any of the speeds given here and you can save it. Extract mp3 will let you extract the audio from this video in mp3 format. There is a cut and compress option using which you can cut a certain portion from this video and you can compress it and the duration can be specified using the slider. Now let's see the compress video option using which the entire selected video can be compressed. You can select high quality, low quality or custom quality. Then you also have some presets here. You can see the percentage of compression, then the resolution in pixels and the file size. The standard resolutions are shown in red color. If you choose low quality, the quality of the output will be little low, but there will be notable difference in file size for a given resolution. I personally prefer custom because in this option, you will get two sliders using which you can change the resolution and bitrate flexibly. As you lower the resolution, you can dynamically see the change in the value of the file size. If the bitrate is high, the file size will be high. At the same time, the clarity will also be high. So you have to choose the right values to get optimum compression without losing quality. As I reduce the resolution, you can see a reduction in the file size. I'll bring it down to around 1100 and you can bring down the bitrate to around 1200 to get a reasonable good quality output with a good amount of compression. Now you can see that the file size is reduced to 20 MP, 200 to 20 MP means one tenth reduction in the file size. Now I'll tap on compress video. You can see the progress of this operation on top. You can wait till it reaches to 100%. The speed of this conversion process depends on the speed of your phone. After conversion, the video will get automatically opened. Now when you observe the video, you can hardly make out any change in the quality of the video. At the same time, you have got tremendous amount of compression. Now you can share this file to any social media networks or to any destination of your choice. Hope this video was informative. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel Saptech TV. Until I catch you with another informative video on technology. Bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time.